Well, it would seem that there's a Talmudic Jewish lobbyist website that is using blacklisting type of tactics to attack and censor free speech they don't like. Okay, uh, this is just typical typical tactics of the, ta the uh, Luciferian Talmudic Jewish lobby when they go after pretty much anybody who criticizes any kind of aspect of their false, you know, blasphemous false religion of essentially their, their blasphemous false religion of Talmudic Judaism. But it says here on the Jewish Daily Forward, shadowy blacklist of student activists wins endorsement of mainstream pro-Israel group. All right, let's see what this uh, anti-free speech blacklist is. It says, for more than two years, a shadow, shadowy website called the Canary, Canary Mission has posted political dossiers on student, students active in pro-Palestinian groups, saying it hopes to keep them from finding work after college. Now a mainstream Jewish pro-Israel organization has endorsed Canary Mission, despite criticism that the site uses McCarthyite tactics. In the annual report, the Israel on Campus Coalition cited the Canary Mission as an effective model for deterring support for the boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement, hailing the website for causing students to drop their support for the pro-Palestinian groups out of fear of repercussions. Sounds like something the Nazis would do, you know, using political intimidation to sil uh, silence people they don't like and don't agree with. I've said this before and I'll say it again, the Talmudic Jewish lobby is no different than the Nazis. They use all the tactics that the Nazis would use to censor speech that censor speech and go after, you know, political disagreements or, or people who would disagree with them or pretty much anybody who criticizes stuff they do. No different. But continuing on in the article, through online platforms such as the Canary Mission, the database devoted to exposing hatred of Jews in Israel, the pro-Israel community has uh, established a long deterrent against anti-Semitism and BDS activism. ICC's report reads, um, ever heard of a thing called free speech? You know, because essentially they're endorsing this group that ruins people's lives for saying stuff they don't like. Kind of like the Nazis would do. But of course, I, I'm now some kind of hate, you know, hate preacher for saying that they basically are using Nazi tactics to attack speech they don't like. It says here in the article, ICC sits at the center of the organized Jewish community's pro-Israel apparatus. Its, its uh, board includes leaders of Hillel International and top Jewish foundations. The organization did not respond to mul multiple requests for comment, probably because there's no way to actually really defend the, this uh, blatantly authoritarian, these blatantly authoritarian tactics they like using. But it says here in the article, quote, uh, this is, this is uh, quoting somebody who was targeted by them, who ironically was another Talmudic Jew, but it says, quote, uh, they also generally have a problem with activists. He said, they went back on my profile two or three years before I even knew who Yasser Afarat was. Canary Mission first appeared in May of 2015. From its start, the website went to great lengths to match the identity of its donors and any staff. The, for the forward uncovered the names of two people who appeared to be linked to the organization in September 2015, though one denied any connection and the other did not respond to requests for comment. At the time, it had it had, it had, had no visible ties to the organized pro-Israel community and no prominent Jewish leaders have openly came to its defense. Yeah, probably because there is no defending this blatant authoritarian Nazi-like attack on free speech. Uh, but continuing on, it says, since then, Canary Mission has continued to grow its blacklist with uh, little apparent attention from organized Jewish groups. While some of its people it profiles are professional activists, most are college students, many of uh, and many are Jewish, dossiers cite social media posts and op-heads written in student publications. So you just go back to just stuff they say, scour the social media, stalk them essentially, and you know try to ruin their lives and try to prevent them from actually finding any kind of you know work after college because you don't agree with what they say. <laughs> Yeah, it says, continuing on the article, the ICC's report is the pro-Israel's establishment's first public acknowledge of Canary Mission. In the document, the group says that SJP held a session on Canary Mission at its annual conference last year, revealing growing anxiety among leaders of the anti-Israel movement. Uh, yeah, probably because you're, you're ruining their lives, that's probably why. Because they're saying stuff you don't like, you know? than the Nazis that you are. It says, uh, Canary Mission is the only organization in, uh, whose work ICC highlights for exposing and discouraging anti-Israel activism. During the 2016-2017 academic year, pro-Israel efforts raised notable concern among Israel's detractors, causing activists to downplay their associations with BDS campaigns. The report reads, 
Fearing the repercussions of public exposure, some students withdrew their support for campus divestment while others served several of their ties to anti-Israel causes. The ICC report identifies Canada and Mission as the pro-Israel community. It discloses no information about the identity of its backers and staff. Uh, repercussions, uh, it's called living in a free society. You know, there, there are no repercussions for speech you don't like. Unless you're some kind of Nazi, which is apparently what these guys are. They're using Nazi tactics to censor those they would slander as Nazis. That's kind of the ironic thing about that. But, oh, repercussions. Uh, it's called free speech. If you don't like it, then go to Israel. Funny, funny how they're so dedicated to try to shut down criticism of a foreign nation. You know, American criticism of a foreign nation. Now, I need to point this out, too. When I say I support Israel, I support the racial Israel. Okay, not this, this uh, uh, blasphemous false religion of Judaism, but racial, you know, who actually can trace back to Abraham their right to be physically in that land. That's pretty much it. I don't, my support does not go beyond that. I don't support the government and I certainly don't support their false religion or I don't support their false religion, uh, their, the lobby of this false religion using these blatantly Nazi tactics to try to attack free speech. So I want to just point that out, but you know, repercussions. It, it's no, no different than when a Muslim would, you know, talk about repercussions for blaspheming their false prophet Muhammad. It's a bunch of garbage, but hey, they've always been enemies of free speech and they continue to prove that uh, via stuff like this. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.